Right. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jeremy Meadows, and I'm an assistant principal at La Costa Canyon High School. I have the pleasure of introducing Aaliyah Rivas and her family and our wonderful support team at La Costa Canyon with a teacher and counselor. Um, before I have them come up here, I just have a quick statement about her and her exceptional, um, as being an exceptional student at La Costa Canyon. Aaliyah Rivas exemplifies a student who values education, family, and is a true maverick. She has been an AVID for all four years at La Costa Canyon. The program is Advancement via Individual Determination and is geared towards uh, helping students get to college. Although she is four-year eligible, she plans on attending Miracosta or Palomar and then transfer to Cal State San Marcos with the ultimate goal of being an elementary school teacher and giving back to her community. Aaliyah lives with her aunt, her grandma, and her half-siblings. She is always positive and looking forward to her future and never dwells on the past. So at this time, I'd like to bring up Carrie DiGiulio, our, one of her, her avid teachers, Rhonda Espinoza, her counselor, and her family. Come on up, please. My name is Aaliyah Rivas, and I'm a 12th grader at La Costa Canyon. Um, this is my aunt, my counselor, she's amazing, Ms. Fasma Lee Espinosa, my grandma, Maria, Ms. DiGiulio, my avid teacher, and my assistant principal, Jeremy Meadows. Um, what I want to share with you guys is, uh, well, my life story. Sorry, I cry all the time. <laughs> um, so, sorry. Um... When I was four, sorry. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> sorry, I'm a cry baby. Go love for my grandma. <laughs> um, when I was four, both of my parents were incarcerated and later deported. So since I was four, I've been living with my grandma and my aunt, which is. Uh, it's been very life-changing, but I think that what I learned from that was people, if you would think to coming from parents of two drug addicts, that I would take the same route. Well, I think that being, being different from them was probably the best choice that I could have been. My mom, my mom is an amazing person, and I don't let um, it, being a drug addict determine her character. Well, for me, being living with my aunt and my grandma, it's taught me to be very generous to others, um, very nice, and to never judge others. Because for me, that was the most life-changing thing. I could have been in a foster care where I probably would have been treated badly, and from house to house. But thank God my aunt, she chose to become my legal guardian, and because of her, I have been able to exceed all these years of and finally graduating thank god <laughs> um, and for me i think i have like i do a lot of communion service and for me it has a deeper meaning than just getting simply just getting hours and just doing it because it's required but every year i do um holiday baskets by crc and del mar and i think since freshman year that has always taught me when i see those little kids with their parents it makes me happy because when we help them, it puts a smile on their face that I probably couldn't have had when I was a child. And I think that that's the most beautiful thing you could probably see. But I just wanted to say thank you guys. Thank you, Mrs. Julio, and thank Ms. Fasmethy for nominating me for the scholarship. It really means the world to me, and I think that now my mom, where, where she is, she is really proud of me, and my grandma is proud of me. And I, Honestly, not to be egotistical, but I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> We've had a lot of up and downs, and, and one of them being my self-confidence, which really got to me when I was in middle school, but thank God nothing happened. <laughs> but I just want to say thank you to all of you for listening to me today and for nominating me for such an amazing scholarship. Thank you. Um, 
My name is Carrie DiGiulio. I teach AVID at La Costa Canyon, and I have had the pleasure of having Aaliyah ninth through 12th grade year. So for four years, I've had the ability to know her, to understand her, to watch her, and to see her grow. And um, I'm given a short period of time to explain a lot about an individual, but AVID stands for Advancement via Individual Determination, and I would say that Aaliyah sums that up quite well. Her perseverance in the classroom far exceeds anything I've ever seen. Um, her ability to just shine among her peers and help others, um, including leading tutorials and being an example and a role model. I really watched her shine and come into her own and I'm so proud of her. And this was a big deal because she will tell you that for four years public speaking is the one thing that gives her nightmares. <laughs> and so I'm so proud of her. Just doing this task alone was a really big moment for her. And I'd like to introduce her counselor just to say a few comments as well. I won't take much of your time, but honestly, as a counselor uh, for over 25 years, when you have those students that truly stand out and shine, um, Ilea represents that. Um, she is always a young woman with a smile on her face. She's upbeat, she's positive, and she's always looking to help others. And that's something that I think that she will take forward. And the thought that she would be an elementary school teacher and staying within the community to give back just exemplifies just her true character. So she is a true honor and a pleasure to work with. And as a counselor, she will always be a standout in my career as well. So thank you. So Aaliyah pretty much told you guys a little bit of her story. Um, I've had her since she was four years old. And yes, her mother and her father have been drug addicts. Well, her mom is of her cup. She's been uh, uh, sober for six years now. And now she works for a rehab down in Baja, so in TJ. So now she's helping others that had her same problem, and which is great, you know? Um, Aaliyah has the most loving, caring heart that I, I mean, I can't even imagine. Not only that, she has the patience. Um, Raising these kids, and I'm going to say these kids because I have three of my own and then her and her sister. And her sister's 12. Uh, so my daughter's uh, 17, you know, 17, and I mean, six, well, my daughter's 16, 17, 12, and then seven and two. So just imagine a household of that. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, so I would not. You know, my whole goal since I took custody of her was to pretty much have her be somebody in life. You know, it's been really hard. Sorry. <laughs> it's been really, really hard. Um, just, I'm constantly on their behind trying to, you know, like, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. You know, just constantly being on their back and on reminding them that they need to do something in life and not not to settle for less. And I could be very harsh with them sometimes, but I mean well. And I mean harsh is like they get their phone taken away, they don't go out, you know, that's nothing. You know, her sister right now is grounded has been grounded for a month for, you know, so she's dying right now over that. <laughs> but you know if Nominating, nominating Aaliyah would be one of the most amazing thing that could ever happen to our family. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody has a different story, but we have suffered a lot. <laughs> I can't even explain it, but we have, and you know, we're just here. We're probably another, you know, another, um, there's just so many cases out there with deported parents and you know Aaliyah pretty much we have to go like every other weekend to go visit her mom it's just been a tough situation <laughs> trying to have you know relationship with her mother and trying to and trying to have a life here so, sorry, I gotta stop this because it's really like, 
Yeah. <laughs> but thank you.